John Slayton, aka Jay Slay, here today with my Weber Smoky Mountain, about to cook up some roast beef. It's gonna be good. So I'm getting the eye round roast uh, ready by trimming it up. I'm just trying to get all this extra fat off it. Um, practicing, I'm getting better. Using my Doll Strong boning knife for this, the Shogun series. Got a big fat cap here, so kind of have at it. Um, had more success here, but. I'll get better, I'll get better, and you know, this is just practice. I don't know why, but I just wanted to kind of slap this thing around a little bit. All right, so as a binder, I'm using my faithful Lean Perrin's uh, Worcestershire sauce. I use it on just about everything, it's great. Next thing I'm gonna do is put my Killer Hogs Barbecue AP Seasoning. Uh, I just picked that up from Malcolm Reed, howtobarbecuewrite.com. Uh, that's gonna be our base. So the AP seasoning, if you don't know what that is, it means all purpose. It's basically a mixture of garlic, salt, pepper. It's pretty important. Uh, I always use it as a, as a base coat. So the next flavor layer is gonna be this Stu Leonard's brand barbecue beef rub. Uh, it's got coffee in it as an ingredient. I used it once before on some short beef ribs that I made. It, it tasted really good. So decided to try it out on the roast beef. Just go heavy with it. Make sure you get every every side of it. Um, pat it down. Don't you know? Don't rub it down. You want to pat it. Um, yeah, just get that thing fully coated. Oh no! Where'd the roast beef go? Oh wait, I found it. Prepping up the Weber Smoky Mountain here. Be using some mesquite, hickory. Got my water here for the water cleaning. It's hot out. The chimney smoker gone be about 15 20 minutes got some hickory wood here and I'm um, skeet in the back I get this thing get up to 225 just got the lid on there She's starting to smoke all the vents are open I'm gonna get her up to around 225 ish around 200 I'll shut a couple of the vents down a little bit just so it doesn't get too hot probably take half an hour about to throw this roast beef on smoke it up Right in the middle there. Here we go. All right, guys. Now we're in. This is what we're looking at. Looks pretty good. Definitely looks good. I'm gonna get this thing smoking a little more though. So I'm gonna poke around at the wood a little bit here. Uh, open up the back vents. Hey everybody. Hope you enjoy my video. Smoking up good now. A little. Puff the magic dragon action going on. Oh yeah. Took it off of the smoker. I think it's done. I threw a whole bunch of uh, Kentucky bourbon barbecue rub on it to finish it off. See how it goes. I'm gonna sear it on the Genesis gas grill. All right. The lower Genesis is creeping up towards 500. Uh, let it get there. Just about. I'm gonna take the little roast here and end up searing it maybe 30 seconds 45 seconds in each side and just flip it around see how it goes here we go sear city let's do it bad. still steady at 500 been about another 45 seconds or so this is fun looks good Nice. I'm gonna hold it like this for a few seconds here. I just shut down the gas. So that will end the searing, so I'm gonna just pull it off and throw it back on there. And here's what it looks like off the grill. It's got a nice crust. I seared it pretty well. It looks good. The only thing is I, I realized later I had uh, left it on the grill a little too long, so it's more of a medium than a medium rare or rare like I would like, but again, I will learn my lesson and do better next time. Make sure to probe your meat early, folks. I'll tell you this, that's a nice looking piece of meat. I wasn't planning on eating this roast right away, so I wrapped it up in foil and then in a towel until it was time to break it open for dinner. 
So now it's time for me to start slicing this thing. I've got my Doll Strong uh, Shogun Series 12 inch slicer. Used it a couple of times now, but this is this is the real test right here. So kind of at a weird angle cutting it, but I'm also kind of getting a feel for the cut. Um, first slices are a little little awkward, a little thick, but then kind of start to get the feel for it a little bit. Start to get my groove on. Um, it's a nice knife. It's sharp. I like it. I like it a lot. It does a good job. I'll be using that um, on everything, every roast. I mean, ro roast beef is actually the reason I ended up getting one of these. Uh, the last roast beef I cooked, it fought me. It fought me. It was frustrating. So here we are today. And you can see in there, it's it's like a medium. I wish it was more of a rare, but you got a medium. It's good stuff anyway. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching my video. The meat was a little more cooked than I would have liked, but it still had some pink. It still tasted amazing. Um, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Thanks.